Six Buddhist Principles So That Nothing Can Affect You Gautam Buddha once said, Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. In a world where change is the only constant and challenges arise as surely as the sun, there exists a path to serenity that remains unshaken by the tumult of life. This path is illuminated by the wisdom of Buddhism, a tradition that offers profound insights into the art of living. At the heart of this wisdom lie six principles, timeless teachings that hold the key to inner peace and resilience. These principles guide us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace, ensuring that no external force can disturb the tranquility of our minds. In this video, we will journey through the profound teachings of Buddhism, exploring the six principles that can shield us from the ebbs and flows of life's uncertainties. These principles are not mere concepts, but practical tools for cultivating a mind that remains serene in the face of adversity. As we explore these principles, let us embark on a journey of transformation, where the ripples of our thoughts and actions align with the stillness of a pond, unaffected by the stones cast upon its surface. As we delve into each principle, we invite you to reflect on their relevance to your own life and how they can be applied to foster a sense of unshakable peace. Join us as we uncover the wisdom that enables us to stand firm, like a lotus in the pond, untouched by the mud below. Principle 1. Impermanence. Anika. The great Buddha once said, nothing is permanent except change. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of the first Buddhist principle, impermanence. It is the understanding that everything in life is in a constant state of flux. It teaches us that our experiences, emotions, and the material world around us are always changing. This principle is not meant to evoke sadness, but rather to instill a sense of freedom and appreciation for the present moment. Consider the seasons. They change without fail, each bringing its own beauty and challenges. Similarly, our lives are marked by phases of growth, decay, and renewal. By embracing impermanence, we learn to value each moment and live fully without clinging to the past or fearing the future. In meditation, we observe the impermanence of our thoughts and feelings. We notice how they arise and pass away, like waves on the shore. This practice helps us detach from our habitual reactions and meet each moment with fresh eyes. Impermanence also teaches us to let go. When we understand that nothing lasts forever, we can release our grip on possessions, relationships, and identities that define us. This release is not a loss, but a path to true freedom. By internalizing the principle of impermanence, we cultivate a resilient mind that can adapt to change, find peace in chaos, and remain unaffected by the shifting tides of life. Principle 2. Non-attachment. Anatta. From the mouth of the great Buddha, we hear, the root of suffering is attachment. This profound insight lays the foundation for the principle of non-attachment, teaching us the freedom in letting go. Non-attachment is a fundamental concept in Buddhism that encourages the practice of detachment from personal desires and material possessions. It teaches that attachment is the root of suffering and that by letting go, we can achieve true peace and happiness. Consider the analogy of a tree and its leaves. The tree does not lament the loss of its leaves in autumn. It lets them go with grace, knowing that this is part of the natural cycle. Similarly, we should not cling to things, people, or even ideas, because attachment leads to an endless cycle of craving and dissatisfaction. In practice, non-attachment means living with a sense of freedom from the pull of our desires. It doesn't mean we shouldn't enjoy life or form relationships, but rather that we should not become so entangled in these things that our happiness depends on them. Meditation and mindfulness can help cultivate non-attachment by allowing us to observe our thoughts and desires without getting caught up in them. We learn to experience life as it is, without the constant need for more. By embracing non-attachment, we open ourselves to a life of contentment and joy, free from the endless pursuit of things that cannot truly satisfy us. It is a journey towards understanding the impermanent nature of the world and finding stability within ourselves. This principle, when understood and applied, can be incredibly liberating, allowing us to navigate life's ups and downs with equanimity and grace. 
Principle 3. Compassion, Karuna. As the great Buddha imparted, may I hold myself in compassion. May I meet the suffering and ignorance of others with compassion. This compassionate wisdom is the core of the principle of compassion, guiding us to empathize and alleviate the pain of others. The principle of compassion is at the heart of Buddhist teachings. Compassion means to feel with others and to share their pain and joys. It's not just a sense of sympathy or empathy, but also the active desire to alleviate suffering whenever possible. Compassion is expressed through acts of kindness, understanding, and love. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and realizing that others' happiness and suffering are as important as our own. This principle encourages us to look beyond ourselves and extend our concern to all living creatures. In practice, compassion can manifest in simple daily actions, listening to a friend in need, helping a stranger, or even offering a kind word. It also involves forgiving others and ourselves, understanding that everyone makes mistakes and deserves a chance at redemption. Meditation on compassion involves focusing on the well-being of others, wishing them freedom from suffering, and cultivating a genuine concern for their happiness. This can expand one's capacity for love and reduce negative emotions such as anger and jealousy. By embodying compassion, we contribute to a more peaceful and loving world. It helps us to remain unaffected by negative external influences, as our actions are guided by a deep sense of care and benevolence towards all. Principle 4. Equanimity. Upeka. In the words of the great Buddha, the wise remain unperturbed by pleasure and pain, gain and loss, praise and blame, and fame and disrepute. Such equanimous teachings encourage us to embrace the principle of equanimity, finding balance amidst life's diverse experiences. Equanimity, which is about maintaining a calm and balanced mind, regardless of the situation. Equanimity allows us to experience life's ups and downs without being overly influenced by them, leading to a state of inner peace and stability. Equanimity is the practice of treating all beings and experiences with the same level of respect and understanding, without discrimination or bias. It teaches us not to be swayed by our likes and dislikes, but to see the bigger picture and respond to life with wisdom. In meditation, equanimity is cultivated by observing our experiences without attachment or aversion. We learn to accept things as they are, not as we want them to be. This helps us to remain centered in the midst of chaos and to act from a place of clarity. Equanimity doesn't mean indifference or lack of care, rather it's about caring for all things equally and responding to them with a balanced heart and mind. It's the ability to offer compassion without becoming overwhelmed by the suffering of others. By practicing equanimity, we can face life's challenges with grace and composure and remain unaffected by external pressures and stresses. Principle 5. Mindful Awareness Sadie. Echoing the teachings of the great Buddha, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. This directive emphasizes the principle of mindful awareness, urging us to live fully in the now. The mindful awareness, which emphasizes the importance of being fully present and attentive to our current experiences, it involves a conscious awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the environment around us without judgment or distraction. Mindful awareness encourages us to live in the moment and to engage with our experiences directly and wholeheartedly. It teaches us to observe the workings of our minds and to recognize our habitual patterns of thinking, which often lead to unnecessary stress and suffering. In practice, mindful awareness can be developed through meditation, where we focus on our breath or a particular object, noticing when our mind wanders and gently bringing it back to the present. This helps us to cultivate a sense of calm and clarity, even amidst the chaos of daily life. By being mindful, we can better manage our emotions and reactions, make more thoughtful decisions, and appreciate the richness of life. It allows us to break free from the automatic pilot mode and to experience life more fully. 
Mindful awareness also enhances our understanding of the other principles, such as impermanence and non-attachment, by allowing us to experience them directly in the flow of our daily lives. By integrating mindful awareness into our routine, we can remain unaffected by external events as we learn to respond to them with insight and compassion rather than react out of habit. Principle 6. Inner Wisdom Prajna Reflecting on the sage words of the great Buddha, what you think, you become, what you feel, you attract, what you imagine, you create. This quote speaks volumes about the principle of inner wisdom, highlighting the creative power of our innermost thoughts and feelings. The inner wisdom, which refers to the deep understanding and insight that arise from the practice of mindfulness and meditation. Inner wisdom is the intuitive knowledge that guides us in making choices that are in harmony with our true nature and the nature of reality. Inner wisdom is about connecting with the part of ourselves that is beyond the intellect and the ego. It's the inner voice that speaks from a place of calm and clarity, offering guidance that is not clouded by our fears, desires, or social conditioning. In practice, inner wisdom can be accessed through quiet reflection and meditation. It involves listening to our inner experiences and learning to trust the insights that come from a place of stillness. This wisdom is not something that can be forced. It emerges naturally as we cultivate a mindful and compassionate approach to life. By developing inner wisdom, we learn to see things as they truly are, freed from the distortions of our habitual patterns of thought. We become more attuned to the subtleties of our experiences and can navigate life's complexities with greater ease and confidence. Inner wisdom also helps us to remain unaffected by external circumstances as it provides a steady inner compass that guides us through life's challenges. It leads to a life lived with authenticity, purpose, and a deep sense of fulfillment. As we conclude our exploration of the six Buddhist principles, we are reminded that the path to inner peace is both profound and practical. These principles are not just philosophical ideals, but living practices that can guide us through the complexities of life. These six principles, impermanence, non-attachment, compassion, equanimity, mindful awareness, and inner wisdom, form a comprehensive path to inner peace and resilience. When practiced together, they can help us to live a life that is unaffected by external events and aligned with our true nature. By embracing impermanence, we learn to appreciate the fleeting beauty of each moment. Through non-attachment, we find freedom from the chains of desire. Compassion opens our hearts to the suffering of others, and equanimity grants us the strength to remain calm amidst chaos. Mindful awareness brings clarity to our thoughts and actions, and inner wisdom illuminates our true path. Together, these principles form a blueprint for a life lived with depth meaning, and serenity. They teach us that peace is not a distant dream, but a present possibility, within reach for those who seek it within. May this understanding resonate within you, creating ripples of tranquility that extend far beyond the self, and may your journey be filled with insight, kindness, and unwavering peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and join Wisdom Quest for more inspiring stories and wisdom. Comment your thoughts below.